the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean, Mary Bean Miss. For today's look, I just did this kind of moderny Rudolph girl kind of thing. I don't know what I'm calling this look. I basically did a makeup look that is kind of Rudolph reindeer-ish, but still a normal look, so to speak. <laughs> if you want to watch me create it, then just keep watching. We're going to do a good chunk of my face together because a lot of what the look is is kind of the face routine. So we're going to be contouring. I already have my foundation concealer and I only set right here underneath my eyes. We are going to heavily contour now. So I just have my Anastasia contour stick in Fawn. And we're just gonna heavily go at it. We want a very structured look. I'm even taking this little contour stick all the way up towards my brow. And I just have my damp beauty sponge and we are going to be blending this in. My hair is all in my way. Focusing on blending it up, not down. I love this product because I feel like it blends out so easy. This is the first cream contour product I've ever used that I actually enjoyed working with. I use this all the time. Between this and the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick, I'm constantly using a cream product. And then with my nose, I'm just carefully patting around the ballpoint area. And then for the sides, I'm just carefully dragging it down as best as I can. We're going to be cleaning things up with powder so it's not a huge, huge deal. For my powder contour, I'm going to use the Pop Beauty Contour 101 and I'm just going to use the Sculpt shade. I don't usually use that shade by itself just because it's fairly dark, but since we're going for kind of a harsh contour, so to speak, it'll work great. So I'm just going in on the cheekbones and temples. If your forehead's showing, you're welcome to contour your forehead as well. I don't have to worry about that, but I feel like the cheekbones and nose are the most important for this anyway. The most famous reindeer of all, Charles. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. For my nose, I'm just going to start by popping that underneath the little ball area. And I actually want it pretty dark underneath my nose, so don't be afraid to go a little crazy. And then I'm just gonna take a smaller, more angled brush and start really popping that shade down my nose. And I'm just kind of mapping out the little circle portion. It's going to look quite crazy, and that's kind of the point. It's supposed to look a little harsh. I'm just going to soften that just a tad bit with my beauty sponge, and then we're going to be carving out all of the contour areas to clean things up. I'm just going to use my ColourPop no filter translucent powder, but literally whichever translucent powder you use will work fine. I'm loading up my beauty sponge with that, and we're going to bake underneath this contour. So that way when we wipe it off, it'll be extra sharp. Taking some more powder, I'm going to bake right along the sides of that nose contour and just dragging it down, right down the very center of the nose, and right at the little ball tip, which can be hard to see. So now while I look crazy, we're going to start on the eyes while this is baking. It's not going to be anything that revolutionary. I'm just going to kind of stick in the browns in this palette. I know I'm using the Morphe James Charles again, but it just has the red that I'm going to need to use and it has neutrals and it's perfect for that. But basically I'm just going to start with this shade, deepen with this shade, and then really deepen with this shade. So light, medium, dark, that's how I'm going to refer to them so I don't have to keep picking up the palette to show you. Really quick, I'm just going to prime my eyes with the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. So I'm just taking that lightest shade on just a blending brush and everything is going to start in this inner corner and then as I have less product on the brush I will sweep it out towards the outer crease 
and this lighter shade is going to get blown out a lot more than the other shades. But I'm not trying to necessarily do a crazy, like, innovative eye look. I'm more just trying to add contour and definition to the eye, but while also doing an actual eye look. You'll see, I have a vision. Just heavily, heavily, heavily smoking this out in the inner corner to start with. My bangs are driving me nuts. Used to laugh and call him names. They never left for Rudolph. Join in any now I'm taking the medium brown shade with just a smaller blending brush and kind of doing the same thing, just focusing it a little tighter towards the actual crease and lid area. And then as I blend it out this way, there will be less product because I don't want that dark to travel too far out. Again, I really want most of the focus to be in this inner corner. Think of it as like a reverse smoky eye where the dark is all gonna be focused towards the inside and then feather lighter towards the outside as opposed to how most looks are where it's darker towards the outside and then fades lighter towards the inside. And now I'm taking the darkest brown shade on a teeny tiny little blending brush. That's going just right in this inner crease. And then as I have less product on the brush, I'm carrying it through the rest just a tad bit. And then going back with that first brush with no additional product just to buff things out even more. Now I'm quickly going to take that darkest shade on the small brush to smoke out the lower lash line. And again, starting in the front and then working my way towards the outside, just like we did before. I'm actually even taking it slightly under my actual waterline down here just to make my eye appear slightly larger, like a little deer. Taking a tiny bit of that medium shade just to do the same thing pretty much. And now taking that lightest brown and again doing the same thing. I'm just taking my teeny tiny little highlight brush with some of the white shade in the palette, just the matte white. And I'm gonna pop this kind of right here underneath where there's a little gap between my eye and the brown. And you could go as far as to pop a white in your waterline. I'm not doing that mostly because I left it upstairs and I'm not getting up. It's been a long day. I'm also just gonna highlight my brow bone with that same white shade. I was gonna do a cut crease to make it look really defined, but now I don't think I want to. I am gonna add glitter though, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and line my eye with my NYX Epic Ink Liner because I'm going to want a defined wing to really just elongate the eye. All right, wing is done. And honestly, you could leave the look like this. It's just really cute and neutral and it still looks deer-ish, but I want glitter because it's Christmas. You gotta have glitter. This is the Orglamix Material Girl glitter. I can't really show it to you because it's glitter, but it's just a really pretty gold glitter. And my NYX glitter primer. I'm doing the glitter after the wing because sometimes it can be hard to draw a precise liner after the glitter because it's so rough in texture compared to just flat shadows. And I'm sure I'll need to clean up my wing after this, but it'll make it easier. So I am almost drawing a cut crease with this glitter just because I really just want it focused on this lid area and then kind of feather out, but I want it more precise right at the beginning. So I'm just dipping that exact same brush in the glitter and we're just gonna lay that down. Oh, this glitter is so pretty. I don't work with loose glitter that's fine like this too often anymore and I don't know why. I feel like I always reach for my liquid glitters, and I mean, they're a lot easier to work with. But man, this is so pretty. Ugh, I'm literally crying right now. Someone was making fun of me the other day because of how millennials say it literally a lot, but I literally don't care. That actually went easier than I thought it would be. I'm just gonna quickly kind of clean up the liner where it needs to be cleaned up. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and we'll come back to dust away all this bake and continue with the tutorial. All right, my lashes are on and Morgan is here, by the way. <laughs> These are the Rouge and Rogue Slayer lashes as per usual. So we're gonna dust all this away now that it's been sitting for a hundred years. Now I'm going to take the red shade in the James Charles palettes 
with just a stipply kind of brush. And I'm going to do this little by little because I don't want it to be too crazy, but we're just going to start dusting this on the tip of the nose to give that Rudolphy look and look, you know? Thanks. Am I Rudolph or do I have allergies? We'll never know. So now we're going to highlight and I'm just taking my Give Me Glow White Noise highlight. It's what I keep using nonstop and I'm just using my beauty blender or beauty sponge. It's not a beauty blender for this. And we're just going to highlight the top of the cheekbones. No blush on the face today for once, which is really weird for me. And we're going to highlight the tip of all this red nose so that it can look nice and glowy. I'm just going to just kind of re go back with that brush with no additional product just so it all merges together and now I know Rudolph doesn't really have the white spots that deer have but I just want to do little freckles but with white so that's what I'm doing I'm just using Jeffree Star's Drug Lord liquid lipstick and an, a teeny tiny little precise brush this is from Sigma it's the EO5 I don't even know where I got this but it's perfect for freckles And obviously these aren't going to look natural in the slightest. They're just supposed to look cute. You don't have to do them, but I like them. And then for lips, I'm going to do kind of a two-tone lip where it's darker on the top and lighter on the bottom. And I know for a fact I'm using Celebrity Skin for the bottom lip, so I'm going to do that first. And for the top lip, I'm deciding between Dose of Colors Cork and Chocolate Wasted. I'm going to start with Cork because it's lighter, and if it's not dark enough, I'll just go over it with some of the Chocolate Wasted color. I think I like that combo. I don't think I need to add the darker color. I think that's exactly what I want it to be. So this is the full look. I hope you like it. I feel cute and Rudolphy and... Still surprisingly normal. I would totally leave the house like this, even with the white freckles and the two-tone lip and the red nose. I think it's cute. And I think it looks cute with all this yellow. And I don't know, I like it. So you could wear this with antlers and be extra festive, but I actually don't have any reindeer antlers. I should get some. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday normally, but this week I've been posting all week. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.